Oh no! Ah! Oh 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 oh! Did they, they explode to <laughs> to pieces? Yeah, everything came apart there. Yep. All right. We can Go rebuild. <laughs> Better, stronger, faster. <laughs> so that's there. Um, this guy slots here. This guy slots here. This goes here. It seemed to come together so well before. Um, ah, wasn't pushing it together well enough. There we are. Much better. That should slide up. You know, it's funny as we look at some of the uh, uh, post-war products from mm. from Japan. They start out very shaky in quality, and mm. then they build up to such an incredible level of quality. Yeah. It's the ideal. So some of the early Sony radios mm. were kind of, kind of, <laughs> not exactly the highest quality mm -hmm. uh, manufacturing. And over the years, it's been refined and refined and refined. And Sony became the powerhouse that it is. That you know now is <laughs> sort of one of the one of the companies that has diversified over mm. over the years beyond electronics, but is well known for its consumer electronics as well as its professional mm. industrial and broadcast equipment yeah definitely true so that should be sticking out um that way shouldn't it no i got it backwards okay that would explain the the issues so that goes here helps when you know what's going on helps when i have it right side up yeah <laughs> Okay. So then we slide that in there. Can that and even then go that there? Still doesn't want to come up. Hmm. That's the problem. Because it's upside down. Okay. I'll uh, figure this out eventually. Uh, it's all in the details. Yep. So that should be like that. Yeah. And then the stud, yeah, this that should be facing it that way. There we go. Now, is there a little key thing back in there? No, it looks like a stud. That should, that's, um, so there's the quarter mode. Um, yeah, it should be. Okay, I'm confused. Hmm. But we'll try it the other way around. I've noticed sometimes it's important which order things are yeah. connected together within a subsection. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not. <laughs> and it looks like... There we go. Okay, so that's there. Because um, yeah, that should do that, and that should come in and do the... Right in there. <laughs> there. Yeah, good. All right. Uh, now we have the, the sticker, which is the little cockpit thingy. Um, where is that little cockpit thingy? <laughs> ah. Again, very detailed sticker. Does not appear to be one single orientation. It probably is. Um, oh, no, there is. Known. Um, oh, it's slightly thinner on one side, and that goes with the front. Okay. It's interesting that uh, uh, stickers are used rather than decals. I remember mm. using decals where you'd have to soak them in water. Oh, yeah. And then they'd s gently slide off. <laughs> the good thing, though, about decals is there was a longer setting time. Mm. The bad thing about decals is there's a setting time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little water soluble. Mm. Yep, it's that classic uh, trade-off. You know, do you want something that will stick forever but requires a lot more effort, or vice versa? Because I also wonder how often the mecha designer actually works with the plastic model kit makers, the actual materials yeah. engineers. And say, okay, how hard is this actually going to be to manufacture? That's part of your show. I mean, that's 
I don't know how you make your money. I imagine the 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 CEOs putting these together after they come out. <laughs> and someone went, I had too much trouble. Change this, mm -hmm. or I noticed that. And then after the first run, and then it's then it's somebody's job to put them together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, we'll just do a random mm -hmm. random one out of so many just mm -hmm. to QC it. Undoubtedly. Stickers. Um... So that they're saying that should slide back. Holy smokes! It did. It transforms. So that actually slides out, and then s slides down, and oh. then can slide back in. That's pretty amazing. That is cool. Wow, that's a jetpack. My gosh. <laughs> All right, getting close. G one eight. I think he's gonna get bingo before me. <laughs> Sometimes it all comes together. So I'm wondering what will happen next episode. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back with another model kit. <laughs> you mean in Gundam? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there I go again. Do that too. <laughs> it's always talking about myself. Yeah, so um, Char managed to kill off Karma. Mm hmm. And, uh, so it seems. So it seems. And we met this mysterious new lieutenant, Lieutenant Matilda. Oh, she's cute. She is. When do we get to waltz with Matilda? <laughs> <laughs> mm. And uh, yeah, and we got to find out also. I mean, what happens when one of the uh, Matilda gave me hope. There's yeah. somebody out there. Mm -hmm. They're actually going to get through. They they, mm. they actually don't need to get through because they can't do anything for them, really, <laughs> it seems like. But yeah. that, that, that's how it, she kind of came off, mm. appearing that, yeah, we're busy. We know about you guys. Keep doing good work. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're loaded with civilians. Take them. Yeah. <laughs> Not so much. Well, she did take a few. But, yeah, yeah no, it, that's a very good point, actually, is that she does come across as this uh, very um, sympathetic character, which is, is nice for change. Powerful, but yeah. sympathetic. Yeah. And they, they haven't had much luck with their uh, commanding officer type characters, figures. Yeah, and there's... Well, the, uh, the original captain was pretty nice. Yeah. White base. He, he got... He was pretty bad off after that first yeah. hit, though, so... War is hell. War is hell. So wage peace. Exactly. Wage peace, not war. <laughs> what if there are a war and no one showed up? <laughs> oh. What series would that be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make as good a story, I no, suppose. But... <laughs> okay. One of the downsides of <laughs> turmoil is... It does make a good story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exclamation points. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There we go. Fortunately, I caught them in time. Mm. Funny looking sticker. Ah. Maybe. Mm hmm Okay, that looks like something's articulating. D1. C13. C thirteen D one two step uh, two one. Carl in the chat room is asking what other Gundam shows you watched, Evan. Me. This is my first. So uh, I've seen other Mecha series, but this is my first Gundam series, and so mm -hmm. it's it, it's exciting. Uh, so far, I like it, and uh, I'm hoping to check out the rest of of uh, the universe, multiverse, <laughs> reverse <laughs> <laughs> the the different verses uh, versions of. Uh, Gundam. So, yeah. uh, I, I hear that there's a variety of uh, different approaches, and so it should be interesting to see the different stylistic changes and which have their their uh, best appeal for me. Mm -hmm. um, I always like realistic stuff in space, but I also like fantasy in space and mm. aliens and uh, who knows? Maybe aliens are real, you know, <laughs> <laughs> realistic in space, but. Um, 
I, I, I'm open to uh, suggestions, and uh, mm. I'm curious as to uh, uh, what uh, suggestions uh, you would have for me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd love to watch all the series, but it seems like I'd have to take off my job and do full-time <laughs> Gundam watching for you should do to be that, able to yeah. take up the series. That makes sense to me. <laughs> if I could do it for a living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would you guys be a may help us with that. Yeah. Patreon. Patreon. Um, Patreon. <laughs> no, I don't know how to type that. Uh, so there's G... Uh, blah, 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 blah. There's that. And there's that. Section D1. And that fits in like that. That doesn't seem... Oh. That's seeming fit. Mm, no, 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 no. There. You have. I see a piece here. that I want to like take out and play with right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? The... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I gotta wait. Mm -hmm. D five. That's further down. Can't get to that till I get further along. Mm. Okay, so now we get to these weird blue page. D1. F14. That's not D1. Mm -hmm. D1? D1-2. Okay, D1-2. That, that is correct. <laughs> Read the instructions. When all else fails... Yep. That, that, that's what uh, my French teacher used to teach us. Mm. He used to say, when all else fails, students, follow the directions. Yep. Usually all else failed because you didn't. Yes. <laughs> Instructions. Put your name on the paper. Turn it in. <laughs> yeah. By the way, here's a whole bunch of questions that you don't have to answer <laughs> if you just follow the instructions. Yep. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to never have any professors who were that cruel <laughs> F9 F9 not 9 and then 0083 was uh, 8 bit champions first Gundam uh, 0080 is his fave nice choice very serious very dark in its own way I, I do kind of like Darker series, mm -hmm. um, with uh, I I like to binge watch stuff, mm -hmm. and so one summer I sat down and watched all the uh, um, oh, what is it called? Uh, the, I look up here, but I don't have it. <laughs> <up here. laughs> um, Stargates. I watched oh, all nice. the Stargate series. Wow. Then I watched all the Stargate Atlantis series. <laughs> then I watched all the Stargate... What was the third one, I think? Universe? Universe? Yeah, yeah, Universe. There was an animated series. I watched mm. one episode, and I could not watch it. It was <laughs> wow. just... Uh, mm. But Stargate Universe was definitely the darkest of them all, mm. uh, just visually. Mm -hmm. And also in its feeling of hopelessness and... Mm disaster that there wow. was no way out of yeah and for some reason i really liked that interesting it was the dystopia of mm. real life there was mm -hmm. less okay we're gonna get this all resolved at the end of the episode <laughs> it's like we might never get this resolved wow. we're, we might always be doomed nice. <laughs> feeling that kind of pervaded through the series and i was really sad Mm. to see the entire series end. Mm -hmm. uh, it would have been nice to see more of that series. Yeah. Because I, I, I kind of feel at some point after I've seen a series for so many seasons that if it's always wrapped up at the end, it almost becomes formulaic. Yeah. And I can tell how close to the end of the show it is by how resolved things mm, are. Mm -hmm. And even if it's not completely resolved, I say, okay, one more episode. <laughs> okay. They've extended the joy for one more episode, but then it's going to end again. And everything's going to be wrapped up almost in a bow. Mm -hmm. And that that's why some of the series kept, kept me hanging on, but mm. Universe was really good for that. Interesting. And um, do I thrive on hopelessness? No, but I, I like some of the, some of the, some of the darker, mm. Uh, scenarios because they are kind of like real life. Mm -hmm. Real life things don't always wrap up at the end of the week. 
Yep. Sometimes there's pervading issues. Oops. Shall I? Yeah. We'll see if that has any effect whatsoever. Whoa, rubber band just Oops. died. That's fine. And here's this end. Thank you. We're just powering up right now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're going that way. Oh. Nope. That's not going to work. Is a card full? Um, no, it's not. It's, it's not getting power out of that. Oh, it's not getting power uh, out, out of that. that. No. Maybe. Maybe this. No. It's, it's only seeing it as, as USB mode. Mm. No, it doesn't seem to be getting any power out of it. Well, and it could be that it just doesn't charge off USB. Or maybe if it's powered off, it charges. Could be. Yeah, we'll see. Well, that's fine. Such as back to the uh, the scenario, real world scenario. Mm -hmm. Power, power, more power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, oh, eighty is an ideal one for easy introduction to Gundam. Wing was my first. Being a '90s kid, Zeta and Victory is my favorite. <laughs> Carl suggests uh, eight the mess team. Mm -hmm. 080, 083, Gundam Wing and Gundam Seed. Hmm. How many? How many series was that? That was five different series. That was one, two, three, five different series. Yeah. My goodness, that, <laughs> and and that's just scratching the surface of the mm -hmm. franchise. So so there's there's a lot that could be done. It sure is. Zero fourteen. Ooh. You know what would be funny is if mm. we swapped pieces and yeah. we didn't realize <laughs> it. Like, hey, you know. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of uh, gray in mine, all of a sudden. <laughs> Which makes me think those people who do mm. mashups must have really mm. creative minds yeah. and <laughs> must have done enough of these to yeah. really have a feel for how to improvise yeah. connections. <laughs> or they just spray paint it all white and start from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Reboot, reset. <Yeah. laughs> okay, so that goes... Mm. So D2... Which has got an exclamation point. Mm. Okay. I like how they've done this in a universal language of pictures. Yeah. Uh, I think that 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 must be part of their success is they've mm. done such a good job of yeah. making everything so visual that even if you don't mm -hmm. speak Japanese, right, or read Japanese, and speak it wouldn't be relevant. <laughs> read Japanese, you can still mm. figure out what's going on. Yep. And you know, lest we forget, it's not just America. It's China and Korea and all the other countries in that area. So, so they have a good export then. They do. And if you're going to do it, go big. Yep. All right. Or go small. Or go small. Nano. <laughs> I wonder if ultra small mm. will become. Uh, more popular with nanotechnologies and refined ability to do super small work. Yeah, that's a good point. Optics are getting better and better all the time, mm. and there's a huge difference between optics for standard definition mm. uh, cameras mm -hmm. than there is from from high definition cameras. Mm. And now they're talking about 4K and mm. and stuff beyond that ultra, mm. which gets reinvented all the time. Ultra <laughs> means what at what stage. Um, but with each of these revisions, the optics have to be mm. improved as well mm -hmm. because what worked for one level of information doesn't always work for the mm. next refinement. Mm -hmm. And as the optics manufacturers are getting better and better, the ability to come out with an inexpensive consumer product such as these lenses mm. gets better and better. Mm -hmm. And... I wonder how long it'll be before we have uh, tools that are designed around really fine detail, mm. like, like watchmakers almost. Yeah, that's a good point. So with, with, is it? That's thunder. Thunder. Thunder and lightning, very, very frightening. Whee! <laughs> I have a telescope. Galileo! <laughs> piece, piece, piece. Okay. And sure enough, I tore out a piece that was important. 
Oh no! Cut off a little, little bit there that's used. So you see this little gun type thing. Um, the grip goes back down, but there's a little tiny little thing oh, there, yeah. and that's so you can grab it and pull it up. Oh, and if you clip it off yeah, as a piece, as then... I did on this other one, where it's I just ripped it right off. Oh, so, why is that piece oh, well. there? They... Yeah. That must be where I pulled it out of the frame. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I need the other bit. Uh, so that's let's that see. Ten? That one is and ten. then two. One and then two. Okay. So there's your little gunship thingy. I get that. That's pretty sweet. Um, one, then okay. So to put it on, that two. does this. That's right. This little backpack thing. Say oh, brilliant. and that slides that works. down. Somehow. Oh, yep. If I know that piece goes in there, down. I can sand it more. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll put that out of the way. So I got then, a tiny. These guys. Oh, I, I'm oh, pointing slide. it in front of the head. <laughs> Sweet. And so this does this. And the backpack goes, you know, attaches on. And then these go up. And then the guns slide up like this. So he has the extra weaponry. What are you going to do with your Gundam? Ah, uh, good <laughs> question. Put it up somewhere. I think I'm going to have mine guard my desk at work. Yeah. Um, this one might live here, actually, for a while. Oh, that's right. We yeah. Keep some for the set. Well, maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll have, have, have a different sentinel at my desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then that pops. I'll have out. to see. Maybe, uh, so maybe, can... maybe as the series continues and we build yeah. models. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, is this actually designed so he can, that will fit? It should be. Hmm. It's feeling like there's not enough mobility to actually get the fists to hold it. Um, they claim, they claim it'll work. Uh, and then, of course, these, does that work? Ah, that goes up like this. Because that's... The hero mode. Hero! Uh -huh. Hero! Oh, and we can even do that. Cool. C13. C13. Mm -hmm. That's a rather nice style. Wow. So. Balanced and everything, so you don't have to worry about yep. uh, him falling over. Or... And I'm done, as it wow. happens. Amazingly. Huh. He's done, and I'm half begun. <laughs> wow. So that pops in there. Ooh. Oop. A little top heavy. There we go. Why have one gun when you can have four? Hey. <laughs> You get a backup and a backup to your backup <laughs> and a redundant backup. Exactly. Oh, that's a pretty nice little kit. What? Why have one gun up when you can have four? Exactly. <laughs> oh, we're going to do the beam sabers too, though. I forgot about those. Oh, and these are also gummy. Ooh. Yeah. Don't chew on these at home, kids. Don't chew on the beam sabers. <laughs> yeah, he, you're, you're right. He needs a flight stand. He, he would look awesome on a flight stand. Flight stand. Um, yeah, one of those things you, you put him on so he uh, mm. so he's flying. Mm. I'm gonna have to do that. That I might 3D print. Hey, that would be a good candidate for that because I think I've seen 3D printable stands for these. And if I haven't seen them, I'll make one. That'd be a great thing. That to would be nice to show. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah, I will definitely do that. Um, I just got done 3D printing a car part for a client, hmm. um, which I'll be. Showing off, handing off to him um, later on this week. It was a 53 hour print. 53 hours? Yeah. That's an intense, uh, <laughs> intense print there. Yep. And guess what happened? Did it succeed? 
hour 52 and a half. Oh, no. And it went off, um, uh, um, off, I don't know how you put it, um, but it was supposed to be Balance? printed here and it printed to one side. Oh, it suddenly went askew suddenly a little bit. Suddenly went askew a little bit. Um, and it's by a oh, good quarter, half an inch. Fortunately, that is the, um, the tail end of the part. Hmm. So um, he said that's salvageable because it doesn't have, to, does not have to attach to anything. Um, so he's going to take it and try to put it on his car and see how it works. Um, we also want to make sure that, of course, the car doesn't, you know, melt the part. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, but, what, what kind of material did you use for that? Uh, PLA. PLA. So um, polylactic something or other. Gunpla. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, PLA. Um, it's a partially biodegradable um, thing, uh, a plastic that uh, also has a high melting point. Oh. Um, so ABS plastic melts um, at, I think, about something like 160 Celsius. Mm. Um, and PLA is more like 200. Oh, um, so it's a, even better than than what most cars use inside there. Yeah. Um, but like the, the, the melting point for this part would be um, around that. Now, this so, wasn't an engine part, was it? No, 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 no. Um, it's uh, a, well... Kind of, uh, show the folks here. It was kind of hard. Um, oh, nice! You can get a, an action base for five bucks online. <laughs> oh, hey! Um, Ford Focus. Um, it's an intake, actually. Hmm. Um, let me pull that up. Um, so that's what it looks like. Isn't that cool, people? <laughs> wow! How so did yeah. you how did you support that? Did you do it on its side or? Yeah. So I I made it. I put it like that. I just printed it like that. Uh, and I need a little support on the bottom because that's not it's uneven. But I just printed it. Oh, look at that. It's got a little 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 tilt up to the yeah, edge. So yeah. wow. Yeah, I assume is how it connects up to the um, whatever it connects up to. So there there's something there. Um, but yeah, so it was this so um, And that sucks air through it? Um, I assume so. I don't even know where it goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this was the, the, the bit at the very top that was askew. Um, but it's just it, you said it doesn't need to actually attach firmly to anything. So hopefully mm. we can be maybe even just scrape scrape off the uh, the off bits. Wow, and we'll see. A Dremel or yeah, something like that. Wow, but, uh, he'll That's take incredible. it and uh, we'll find out. Yeah, but it, it's about ten inches, so it's like That's this pretty big, big piece. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's a it. good test for the the printer doing yeah. something that's, a, that's almost to the extent, right? It, it does, it's, it's almost exactly to the extent, uh, which also makes me wonder if maybe there's something at the very edge of the... At the, the very end that yeah. might be uh, hard yeah. to get to that maximum... Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is not un unusual in 3D printing d designs. There'll be something a little, little off in those last couple of... Uh, um, uh, you know, that last half inch because of how it has to align everything. Um, so another gun? Yes. <laughs> and uh, an extender piece on that gun? Um, is that? No, this no, is another no, gun. <laughs> so wow. He has a little pistol, and then he has a, a larger gun, and He's then a larger gun, the and then extra guns. Yeah. <laughs> well, part of the, the thing is that uh, the, the, the kid who, who pilots this is not a very good um, fighter. Um, so he kind of uh, overcompensates, if you will, with the long range weaponry. Wow. Uh, whereupon he, he comes upon a. Uh, a friend who's able to help him uh, resolve that. Hmm. Um, the shield is also a gun, too, actually. Wow. <laughs> it's a little silly. Just carrying all ammo for all that. Is yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why you have beam weapons. And then the backpack pops off. He said, hopefully. That pack should pop off. It's just on there with one little connector. And come on. It's on good. It's on good. Um, He's not going to lose it in battle. No. <laughs> There's a whole laser sighting system to get it on there. Um, huh. I know I've got the right bit. Oh! So I go for the bonus round. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> what is that? Oh, a bit of this hand. That gets popped right back on. Oh, man. <laughs> Upside and downside. Yeah, exactly. Like you were saying, it isn't glued, so this is what happens. Um, so that pops right back on there. Um, so this pops off, and so then 
Um, this oh, is that flips little, up. You got the jet, the jet fighter. Jet um, fighter. And then actually, you can even let's see how does this go. Um, Articulating this, wings. Let's see here, this goes like this. Oh, oh, they they flip up. Okay, flip so up. you can do do a vertical takeoff. Yeah, exactly. I think that's how it works. Yeah, and then you do yeah that for the. Then of course you can sweep them back <laughs> as far as you want. Um, for fast mode rather than gliding. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's pretty nice. And that yeah, so I think um, this when it's in this mode, oh that's that's how it works. So when he's when it's on the back, then they're supposed to be in sort of a heroic uh, upwards oops. Upward sweep. I would worry about my so wing getting hit. Do <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. so you have your little uh, kind of wingy thing there? He, he's okay. armed yeah, enough. He's yeah. Not gonna get <laughs> hey, he's not going to have any problems. <laughs> uh, where's the other thing? And the beam sabers will go over here. And this will get popped back there. Cool. Wow. I'd almost want to print a blast that like, yeah, comes out the Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'll have to try that. Cool. Sort of a nice yellow. Yeah, I have to find something and see how to sort of clip it on, huh? <laughs> you could almost just do something that kind of uh, envelops. Yeah, the, like the edge. A, yeah. The bulb with the. Ooh, yeah, ooh. yeah, and you can actually just print that, you know, like that. Hmm. So how's it coming along? I, I see uh, a head. I see a torso. Slow and steady. I've got yeah. these joints. I'm thinking they're in right. Cool. They might I be knees or elbows or shoulders. Yeah. Could be. Shoulders, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Shoulders, could be. Yeah, probably shoulders, because they do have the uh, light. Well, this guy has light yeah, everywhere. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Wow. Yep, they're shoulders. Okay. Cool. I'm pretty sure they're shoulders because it looks <laughs> like hands go into them. Ah, uh, <laughs> gotcha. Nice. But I'm a, I'm a little bit further behind. Mm. That's so. okay. I'm what? not sure how long we should. Uh... That's true. We've been going for quite a while. So, um, is 3D printing what I do for mostly do it for a living? Brand? Um, I do have so, some 3D printing. Yeah, <laughs> I do have some 3D printing clients, but honestly, it is very difficult to find mm -hmm. enough um, people who are willing to pay for 3D printing at a a scale that is uh, that will pay my bills. You know, there are folks out there, there are clients out there. Um, but there's just not that much um, that I've been able to find. So, so I do some of it, but not that. Not so is it time. mostly ad hoc services? Yeah. Just, uh, is, is, is it partly because people don't realize that they could get stuff printed out? I think that that's part of it, too. Um, the other difficulty is we're at a, a spot where a lot of people, they hear about 3D printing, and they're like, and they're like great, I want you to prototype this for $10, um, and I don't have anything. I actually had somebody who um, all he had was a... A, a drawing he had made of this thing Cocktail he wanted to do. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. And he said, I want you to 3D print this. Um, Dimension, scale, materials, we that, hollow, yeah, hollow, exactly. we don't know, uh, um, details, details, details. Yeah, uh, and he wanted it cheap. And so it, it's that kind of thing where it, I, you know, we can certainly talk those things out. Hmm. Um, but there's not a lot of, oh, yeah, I need um, 10 of these printed for $50 each. You know, it's, 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 it's hard to find it and then make it work. Um, yeah. Anyway, so thank you all for joining us. Uh, we Thanks will be for back. joining us. Yes, we'll be back for, for more with five more episodes of Mobile Suit Gundam and more model kits. I'll still be working on this one. <laughs> <laughs> He'll have a new one probably. I'll have something. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right, take care, guys. See ya. See ya.